Hey guys, this is Brian aka Texas Treasures and today I'm bringing you a thrift haul video. I'm going to show you some things I picked up at my last thr thrifting session on Monday. I went out sourcing for shoes, so I want to show you what I picked up. Um going to show you what I paid for it and what the comps are showing that they're selling for. I make these videos to be able to help you when you're out sourcing to be able to find items that are worth good profit. So if you like this type of content, go ahead and, and hit the thumbs up button. Also consider subscribing and hit the bell next, the bell button next to the subscribe button to be notified when new videos are dropped. All right, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right. First up, ooh. all right, let me change, get a little bit more light in here. All right, first up, we have a pair of boots. Now, now here's a little tidbit before I get into, into the, the shoes. A um, couple things to consider. When I went on this, this thrift haul, one of the stores I went to was having a big 50% off sale, and what you need to do, make sure you're researching solds, make sure you're researching comps before you go out, especially in a situation where you got a 50% off sale and there's lots of people there because I didn't look up any of these shoes. I just went based off of what I knew about shoes based on my previous research. So that's really important. And I've got my little sticky notes in here because I do have these saved as drafts and I'm going to be listing them. Well, clean them up if they need to and listing them once I'm done with this video. All right. First up, um, now these were pretty sweet. Uh, you can see anytime I see hiking boots, notice the tread is really good. Uh, these are a pair of redhead hiking boots, really good condition. Size 13, I paid four dollars at a local thrift store, and based on comps, this should sell for you know around thirty dollars plus shipping, so not bad. Four into 30. That's what I'm expecting. All right, I've got all the shoes laid out here. I'm just going to be grabbing them one at a time. All right, next up, we have the style would be a um, boat shoe. And when you look on the inside, you'll see these. Are, well, I don't know if you can see it very well. It's a little dark in here. But these are Sperry Topsiders boat shoes. And once again, I paid. Four dollars for these. Now comps on these in this style, and these are good condition. I will put a little leather conditioner on them. These are going for about forty to fifty bucks plus shipping, and only paid four dollars for these. So that's going to be a good sell as well. Uh oh, let me hit the. All right. So, sorry, I had to plug in the power. This laptop is about to die. So, four of these could go up to 50 um, boat shoes. Boat shoes can be good to pick up. Now, this next pair, the, these first three pair were all from the same thrift store. It's a local thrift store. And one of the things to make sure you look for is the tread. See how clean the tread is on the bottom? That's the number one indicator of, of the quality of the shoes. And on Nikes, you'll find a nine-digit code in here. You can also find out the year these were made. Now, when I was looking up comps, I could not find this exact pair. These were made in 2003. They are Nike Air Max Tailwinds, okay? But this particular year, 2003, in this colorway, I could not find any on eBay. I couldn't find any anywhere. Um, there were other tailwinds from other years going you know 100 to 300 so these i will probably now here's a little tidbit when you can't find a shoe go high i'm gonna list these high uh if they don't sell then i'll drop the price i'm probably i'm gonna list these at 199.99 if they don't sell i'll just drop the price a little bit each but these are rare um and 2003 tailwinds once again four dollars We'll see what these bring, but I'm going to list them high, $199.99. All right. Next up. Here we go. This is another type of shoe to be on the lookout for. Here we go. 
These are clogs, women's clogs. Once again, looking at the bottom, tread is good. There you can probably see the brand. Um, and these are the type of shoes I'm always on the lookout for. These sell well. Get my little sticky notes. Come here. <laughs> Come here. It's hot in front of me. Here, I'll just look inside. These are Sanita. S-A-N-I-T-A is the brand. They're kind of like Dansko. Um, they're comfort professional shoes. Nurses, teachers, people that are on their feet a lot wear these type of shoes because they're very comfortable. Uh, these are black leather. Oh, and by the other, by the way, and, I, and I'm going to be posting the cop picks, so you'll probably see this. Um, Sell-through rate is an important thing to look at. Like how many are available and how many are th of these are selling in a three-month period. The sell-through rate on these puppies was 46%. That's pretty good. And I look, I'm looking at comps of $49.99 plus shipping. I did pay eight dollars for these the next bunch i think are gonna be eight or nine dollars each um but once again eight to fifty that will be that'll work all right got a table full of these gotta get them listed too okay next here we have you can tell you can tell by these laces these are water shoes the brand is merrill it's a really good brand um the bottom of the soles are really good condition. And the thing is, on men's merrells, I do I do really well. Women's, I will still pick up at the right price. They don't go for as much money. These are a pair of Merrill Amphibiana Lace Aluminum. They're water resistant outdoor shoes. Paid eight. Comps are showing these at about 30 plus shipping with a good sell through rate. So eight to 30 is what I'm looking for. Merrill's the brand and looking to get them. Okay. Next up, we got some athletic shoes, All right? New Balance. Um, right here you can see it's a pair of 806s. Once again, you wanna you only want to get shoes. Now this one's interesting, and I and I was a little lazy. I saw this one for wait no, backwards. <laughs> I saw this one in the bottom of these is like in immaculate condition now the other shoe it's weird the the wear they have a lot of wear on the front of this so the condition on on the right shoe is way worse than the left and i didn't catch that because i was in a hurry picking up lots of shoes so i may not get as much for these as i originally thought um, i was going to list them at right at 60 plus shipping i may come down a little bit because of the right shoe um, and these had a sell through rate of 49 percent which is Pretty good, also. Um, I will. These are got got the leather uppers, so I will take some some goo gone. And by the way, descriptions to the products I use are links are down below. This works really well for getting this type of stuff off the shoes, so I will use that before I list them. All right. Next, got a pair of men's dress shoes. See that these are Oxford style with a little wingtip, um, like a leather and suede combo. And the the brand on these is Echo. Echoes do decent. You gotta really look up based on the style. They do decent for me. Um, paid seven for these, and comps are showing these are probably going for about forty plus shipping. And you can tell by the bottom they are in good condition. Uh, they have the European size number, which is 43, so you'll want to convert that to the U.S. size as well. But Echoes, especially Oxford style, in pretty good condition. They will sell for decent money. Sell-through rate on these was a little bit slower. These are going to take longer to sell probably. It was at 19%. All right, UPS is here. I wonder if that's for me. All right, next up. Now, these have more wear than I typically would pick up um, but anytime you see shoes that look a little unusual go ahead and look them up these are auto mix leather uppers you could tell by the soles are a little different um, and when I looked these up I found out these are weightlifting shoes and because of the condition I'm gonna list them at like $59.99 plus shipping we got kind of some flaking up here, but functionally the shoes are still in good condition. 
And if this was in better shape, these would be going for 60, 70, 80 bucks. Um, but if I can get, you know, 40 to 60 for these, I will take them. Uh, once again, pay $8 for this. And the sell through rate on these is astronomical 300%. So these will, should sell very fast. 300% sell through rate. All right. Next up, more boots. Love boots. All right, here you can see. Trying to get used to where this camera is. All right, we got we got some brown leather camo boots. Always want to know the brand. Let's see what is the brand. Uh, okay, there you go. Oh, there goes my sticky note. Let's see if you can see that. Yep. And by the way, look at the tread. Like these are almost new. Um, Redhead. Redhead is the brand. These are like hike, not hiking. These are like hunting boots. Um, got the zipper on the side. Got the camo. And now these are actually a youth size. I typically, I thought these were women's when I first got them, but these are a youth, youth size two. Um, but they still, they're going for good money, and these are in really good condition. So I'm gonna list these at about forty plus shipping. Um, sell through rate on this was high. I think it was around a hundred percent. So Redhead is a shoe, a boot, and I'll clean that up a little bit. Um, definitely do a little leather conditioner on that, try to clean that up. But these should sell pretty well. And once again, I paid $9 for these. All right. Got some more boots. All right. Next up. Yeah, there we go. We got brown and green colorway. Check out the treads. Look at those high techs. Look, these are practically new. These are light new. Um, so you have a pair of high tech light men's hiking boots. Pay 10 for these with tax included. And these I'm going to list at 50 plus 15 shipping. Sell through rate about 21%. So it might take a little bit of time, but these are in really good shape and should bring some good money eventually. Hiking boots, outdoor boots, those are something I'm always on the lookout for. Alright, let's keep on rocking and rolling. Alright, more boots. Next. Here we go. Look at the side profile, and you can see right there, Polo, right? Polo, Ralph Lauren. Um, these kind of look like duck boots with a strap. Got a little bit of wear on the uppers, but the, the out, outsoles... As you can see, are in really good condition. And let me look at my sticky notes. Um, these are Polo Ralph Lauren Country Duck Boots. Hey, these were kids, so I paid. Um, I think I paid seven for these. And the comps um, were listed like one like this was selling for fifty plus shipping. Sell through rate about nineteen percent. So these may take a little bit of time. If these weren't kids, if these were adult sizes, they would sell a lot faster and for more money. All right. Next. And by the way, <laughs> this is part one of the shoe thrift haul. I'll later do part two, but I have more shoes from one day of thrifting that, that will fit on my table. All right. Next up, here you see the brand, Merrill. Um, these are men's shoes. Probably do a little, a little suede, a little suede cleaning. I got a suede cleaning kit, but look at the bottoms. The bottoms are in good condition. Um, here you can see the, the tag. These only paid $3.99 plus tax. These are Merrill Men's Jungle Mock shoes. <laughs> and comps on these are going for $70 plus shipping with an 88% sell through rate. So Merrill's, Merrill shoe or boots. And guys, anytime I see them, if they're in decent shape, I'm picking them up. It's a brand you always want to look out for because it can bring you some good money. And those are only four and change. All right. Speaking of, and it's here's a here's an interesting thing, right? Once again, another pair of Merrells. Sometimes, if you find one pair, like if you find some Merrells, like I found several Merrells at this one thrift store because when they get these donations, oftentimes if somebody likes Merrell. They're going to have several pairs, so if you find one, be on the lookout because you might find some more. And once again, these now these are actually um, women's. 
these are women's. All right? So these are like mule slip-ons. Once again, check out the bottom. Bottom's in good condition. It's really important. Uh, these are Merrill Air Cushion Women's Primo Chill Slides. These are selling for about 40 plus shipping. Um, as you can see the sticker, it's $4.99 plus tax with a 26% sell through rate. Like the Merrills on the women's don't go nearly as, for as much money or as quick as the guys, but they still bring some decent money. So if you can get them at a good price like I did, then kind of a no-brainer. All right, here we go. Next up. Now, you look at the bottoms, this gives you some clues. Anytime you see this, um, these are driving shoes, right? And these are Skechers. And I paid $5.99 plus tax. These are a pair of Skechers City Walk Black <laughs> Leather Driving Shoes. Oxford shoes, keyword stuffing, right? Um, and the cool thing about Skechers is there is a five-digit number. can't really see it. There's a five-digit number on the tongue. And this was 60488. Um, and these are selling for four, about 50 bucks plus shipping. Sell-through rate at 44%. Pretty, pretty solid. And I do really well with men's driving shoes. So always looking to pick them up. You know, and drive drive on down and get you some profits, guys. It's like a car dealer. Drive on down. All right. Okay, next. Oh, there you can see. We got more Merrill, right? See Vibram. Those are those are things to look for. We got Merrills. You got Vibram. The bottoms are in, in good condition. Now these are very lightweight, and these are a pair of women's. And you can see I paid $4.99 plus tax. These are Merrill Bear um, Arc 3 Women's Vibram Black Barefoot, Barefoot Running Shoes. And these are selling for about $50 um, with free shipping. So $40 plus shipping, $50 without. Sell through rate of 150%, which means these should sell quickly just got to list them at the right price and I'm going to list them probably around 50 to get started. Love me some marrow. All right, here's another brand I really like. Okay. Obviously you can tell these are women's. You got sub subtle brown leather. When you look on the in the insole, ah, keen. I love when I find me some keens. Let's take a look at the bottom. A little closer to the camera. Yep, look at that. Mint condition. And these, and, and what I do is like when I get these in, um, like I did look these up at the store because this store where there was no one around. And um, so I took my time and looked these things up. But these are a pair of Keen Mora button. You got the button right here. Brown leather clog slip on comfort shoes. Gonna list these at 40 plus shipping with a sell through rate of. 50% these should sell pretty well and Keen is definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for Alright last row guys last row for today now here's a pair That I have never came across so comment below if you can help me out with these and by the way If you haven't liked the channel, please go ahead and smash the like button Subscribe hit the bell to be notified when new videos are released look at that. That's kind of unusual, right? Got the little hiking dudes, natural latex. We got this red and white suede action going on. Based on the picture on the bottom, um, looks like maybe some hiking or some walking shoes. And when you look on the inside, these are Clarks, right? Well, let's see. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. They're Clarks. But the thing about Clarks is they also have a five digit number. But this, you can tell by this code, the style code, that these, th these are vintage. These are older. And when I plugged these in, I could not find a pair like these. And I spent a little bit of time looking. Couldn't find them on Google either. Couldn't find them on Terapeak. Um, maybe I need to look on WorthPoint. But anyway, these are like some Clark's red and white leather walking, hiking, hiking shoes. 
Well, tell about it. They're probably more walking because that doesn't give you a whole lot of traction, right? And these I took a chance on. I couldn't find any cops. And you don't always have to find comps. These are $5.99 plus, but I know these are vintage Clarks. And the red and white is a cool suede colorway. And these are kind of unique. Um, put a shoe tree in here, take some pics, clean the suede up a little bit. And when I can't find something, I will list it high and just kind of see what happens. And another thing you could do, you could put these on auction. I don't like to do auctions, to be honest. I will probably list these high. I don't know. I got thinking maybe a hundred dollars maybe that's too high and if i don't get any bites i can always drop it but if you start too low you can never get more money back so start high winning it up that's the way i roll anyway all right so if you know anything about these comment let me know give us some info all right this reminds me of my old days when i was a police officer now these um, or half off. So that 1281, this was 50% off sale. So 640 plus tax. Here we have a pair of police tactical military boots. Uh, the brand is La Pro. I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're La Pro. And I didn't look any of these up. At the 50% off sale, I just picked things up and ran. Uh, these comps are going for about 50 plus shipping. Now the sell-through rate on these is pretty low and the ones that we're selling were new and I have a pair of used ones. Um, so that that's something to consider. And now that I'm actually filling on the inside, I think I screwed up. These don't have the insoles, so I'll have to bring that price down even lower. So sometimes when you get in a hurry, you make mistakes. It happens, but these will, I'll still make some money off of these. Seven bucks in. You know, I can probably get at least 20 to 30 for these. Not something I'd probably normally buy, but hey, when you're in a hurry, sometimes you're going to make some mistakes. All right, two more pairs, guys. Now, these are cool. And I've had really good luck with this brand right here. Take a look at it. That's a desert colorway. There is a clue right there, if you can see it. Yep, see the dragon. Yep, right there. Mark Nason. These are like like new condition. Like these were maybe worn once or twice. I just need to do a little um, cleaning of that leather. And these are Mark Nason ankle chucka boots. That's the style, the ankle boots. And comps for these are going for about 70 plus shipping. Sell through rates 21%. So it's a little bit lower. Um, how much did I pay for these? Okay. They were. 1481 but they're half off so it was seven and change plus tax so probably in it for eight nine bucks but these these will sell for 60 70 it may just take a little bit of time um, but i always do really well with these men's chuckaboos and mark nason are, is a pretty good brand now these were the solid leather with the embellishments like the cross on the side i sold those for hundreds of dollars but these these aren't bad either all right last pair Paradise. And here's another thing. What I do with all my athletic shoes, I will put them in a laundry bag and I will wash them on, with cold water on gentle cycle to get some of this dirt. I will take a, um, what do you call it, a Mr. Clean brush to the bottom, use my goo gun. But when you look at the bottom, these are obviously running shoes, but they're, they're, the tread is great. Let me see. You could see the price. There we go. It was twelve eighty one half price, so six and change, so about seven fifty. And these are Saucony. And by the way, the bright colorways tend to do really well. These are Saucony Women's Saucony Ever Runs. Um, so I'm gonna list these at about forty plus shipping, and these have about a fifty percent sell through rate. A lot of people are out running, you know, with all the anxiety and can't really go anywhere. Um, hiking boots running boots outdoor shoes i've been doing really well throughout the summer and i expect them to keep doing well so that's the first part oh well, let me show you a couple more things um these i haven't ran comps on now i picked up two pair of cowboy boots cowboy boots are great all right there you got some brown leather i think this is might be bullhide um and the boots i paid 10 for 
You can't really see, but these are Blackjacks, and Blackjack is a, a, a boot company made in the USA. Um, I actually, and here's a here's a pro tip: like if you can't find comps on your boots, email the manufacturer. Like these are made by Blackjack, so I email, email them with a couple pictures. And once again, these will need some leather conditioning; they'll come back to life. Um, email them with the con, the not the comps. <laughs> Email them with a, the stock number and a couple pictures, and in my experience, they've always got back to me. They'll tell me the model, what they're made of, and what they sold for originally, and that's really helpful as a reseller. But blackjacks are good boots, so I know I'll make some money. Just off the top of my head, once these are cleaned up, you know, 50, 60, 70, or maybe more for sure. Um, and these, the bottoms are in good condition too. They got some wear, but no holes or anything like that. So waiting on Blackjack to hear back from them. And the last pair, another cowboy boots. Once again, I paid 10 for these. This is cool. You got that two-tone colorway. Uh, obviously, you got, you got leather. The bottoms, no hose. It's got some wear, but it's in pretty good condition. And these are a pair of Tony Llamas. Um, same thing. Tony Llama, I emailed them to try to get more information but off the top of my head at least 50 anytime decent cowboy boots 50 and up and they can go well up past the 50 and pay 10 for those so that's part one of my shoe thrift haul run if this video has helped you give, smash the like button subscribe hit the bell to be notified when new videos are dropped I will be making the second part of this video after I get these cleaned and listed. So here in probably in a couple of days. Um, so I hope you guys are staying safe. Happy thrifting, successful thrifting. Shoes are a good money maker. Um, so until next time, guys, I'm out. Texas Chargers. Peace. Well, as soon as it'll stop.